Hey guys, it's Two Perfect Games or Adam, and welcome back to another one of my Fortnite's top five videos. And today I'll be going over five small little changes you can make in your game that will help you get the win. So today's top five is going to feature our weekly giveaway. I'll be giving away three PSN and Xbox cards, and I will have three of those codes hidden somewhere in the video. So it is first come, first serve for those. For the other ones, all you have to do is drop a like on today's video, subscribe to the channel, and let me know right now in the comment section below how many wins do you currently have here in Fortnite. So like I mentioned at the start of the video, I'll be going over five small little things you can do here in Fortnite that will help you get more wins. And a couple weeks back, we went over the five reasons why you're not winning in Fortnite, and those were more major things. These are more small little minor things that you might not be aware of when you're playing Fortnite, and these things will definitely help you get more kills, you'll survive more, and of course, that will lead to more wins. Now besides all that, guys, let's go ahead and jump into today's top five video. Now this goes without saying, but I'm gonna mention it anyways, this top five is heavily geared towards those players who are either new at Fortnite or are really struggling getting wins. So we'll be going over just these really small things that are super easy to change in your game, and it will help you get to that end game where you can possibly, hopefully, get those wins. So coming in at at the number five spot on today's list, I wanna talk about skins in this game. This is something that I've wanted to talk about for a long time or include into a top five, but I never thought it was really that big of a deal. But now with the season three battle pass having some really interesting skins, I think it's now appropriate because a lot of people have these skins in the game and I'm specifically targeting the Dark Voyager skin, right? That's just kind of an example though. But with the battle pass, the Dark Voyager, Voyager skin is one of those skins that is just absolutely amazing. I think it's one of the best skins in the game and I was so hyped when I finally unlocked it. But one thing that I'm realizing because a lot more people are now unlocking the Dark Voyager skin, I'm noticing so many people in game with this skin on and the thing is, I find the Dark Voyager costume or skin to be so easy to spot in game. This is something that I really think that a lot of us don't even think about, right? You wanna look cool in game, you kinda wanna stand out in a way, but standing out isn't the best thing, especially you know in those situations where you're in the top 10 or top five, and you might not be in the greatest position, you might not have that height advantage, or you might not be in a base at all, having a bright pink suit on isn't gonna help you at all. But again, this isn't a big deal, that's why I have it here in the five spots. It's just one of those things that you maybe want to think about if you are really struggling. This might give you just a little advantage. So coming in at the number four spot on today's list, I have a great tip for the start of the match. Through the video, we'll have a tip for the start, the middle of the game, and then we'll have a tip for the end game as well. So to cover kind of every situation while you're playing a game of Fortnite. Now, for the start of the match, one really important thing when you're landing is how you enter a house. This is really important, especially when you're going to an area that is really popular. And I have to exclude it, Tilted Towers, from this because Tilted is kind of like a whole nother animal, whole nother beast. There really isn't anything else on the map that's similar to Tilted. Going to a place like Pleasant Park or Greasy Grove or even Retail Row, those are spots that are usually popular most of the time, but of course not as popular as Tilted Towers. But when you're going to a spot like that where you have a lot of people landing, it's so common for two people to share one house for looting, right? And what most people do is they love landing on the roof, breaking through the roof, going to the attic, and getting that chest as soon as possible, which can be good, but at the same time, it's not the best move. Only when you have somebody else landing with you. When you're by yourself, who cares, right? You can loot however you want, but when there's somebody else at that same house, the best thing to do is always go in through the ground floor. The reason why going through the ground floor is so important when you're sharing a house with somebody is the ground floor and also the second floor of that house will contain shotguns, right? Sometimes you'll find shotguns in the attic, but it's mainly just chests, nothing else. And if the guy up top gets a gold scar and you have a, you know, a green semi or a, a green pump, there's a huge chance you're gonna win that gunfight. So going to the ground floor is always the best option when you're landing in an area that has a lot of people landing there because you want that shotgun as soon as possible. So coming in at the number three spot on today's list, I have something that is so 
incredibly simple, yet it is one of the most important things and one of the things that will really help you out that I have on today's list. And that has to do with what you have as your default build, okay? And what I mean by this is when you start a game of Fortnite and you're looting, the staircase is something you spam a ton, right? Just to get to the, you know, the attics or build up to a roof of the house or whatever you might be doing, we use that staircase build so damn much. And sometimes we forget that we kind of have that preset, right? When you hit the, the circle button or the B button on Xbox, the first thing that pops up is the staircase, right? And that can be good for, again, for looting or climbing a mountain, whatever, but when you are in a gunfight or someone shoots at you randomly, having those staircases pre-selected will end you. And again, this sounds so simple, it sounds so basic, but it is incredible how much this actually helps you survive those situations. You always want to just hit that build button and just make sure you have the wall pre-selected because when you do get shot at, you can instantly build that wall and protect yourself and the staircases most of the time won't really do that much for you. And the reason why I think this is so important is because I see so many other players doing this, right? You can see people who are clearly not that great when you shoot them, they start spamming staircases everywhere, and again, it just really doesn't do anything for you. So making sure constantly throughout the game that that wall is pre-selected, I guarantee you guys, it will help you survive so many situations. So coming in at the number two spot on today's list, we have the quick swap. And the quick swap is something that definitely requires a lot more skill. It takes a lot more practice to get really good and efficient when it comes to swapping weapons really quickly. But it is something that if you don't do already, it's something you have to start doing right now. This is something that sounds really simple and really easy to pull off, but unfortunately it's something that is actually quite difficult. Like I said, it definitely takes the most skill and the most practice out of everything on today's list. But for those of you who don't know what the quick swap is, it's just simply taking a shot with a weapon and then instantly switching to another gun. And it's preferably, of, of course, a shotgun, taking a shot with a pump or, or a semi and then switching to an AR or an SMG or whatever to finish off the enemy because the shotguns in this game, guys, we know how unreliable they are. So you can't rely on that first shot to kill the enemy. My favorite combo for this is definitely the pump shotgun and the semi shotgun. Cause that pump shotgun with that first shot can deal insane amounts of damage. You can possibly get that, you know, one shot, one kill with the pump. But if you don't and you're instantly switching to the semi shotgun, it's still a shotgun and it can still deal a lot of damage. You have no problem finishing off your enemies with that combo. Also a shotgun gun and a tactical SMG is also really good because you can kind of spray with that tactical SMG and if you do get a decent amount of damage with the shotgun with that first shot you should have no problem finishing off your enemy but guys if you don't do this start doing it it will definitely be worth it so coming in at the number one spot on today's list say you have successfully made it to the end game here in Fortnite. You're in a top 10 situation. You've built your tower, you have the right weapons. Things are looking good for you. And say you see somebody down below sneaking around and you're kind of keeping an eye on them. You don't want to shoot yet. And then all of a sudden, a sniper bullet goes right through your head. Now, what went wrong here? This is something that is completely avoidable. And this happens to be way too much. And that is, spending way too much time peeking. Now, you can call it whatever the hell you want. I personally call it peeking, but it's just when you have your head exposed when you are in your base or you're in your fort, and this is something that is really tough to do sometimes because you sometimes get mesmerized when you see somebody and you're locked on that one person. You're watching their every move because you do want to end up shooting and then all of a sudden you get sniped because you aren't thinking about what can happen around you, right? It's not just you and that other guy. There's other people playing Fortnite as well. And with this one little thing, it's so easy to fix. There's so many ways to look around or look below you without actually having to have your head exposed. You 
can sit right on the wall and look down. It's something you can easily do. You don't really want to have any part of you exposed unless you're gonna go ahead and take some shots and go for the kill. Now, with that being said, of course, there's gonna be times where you get sniped because the other person just is an absolute god with a sniper and he hits you as soon as you go to shoot somebody. That's gonna happen, of course, but having your head exposed for no reason or maybe you're just looking around for the hell of it really is not a good idea. So there we have it, guys. Those are five little things that don't seem, like I said before, they don't seem to be that big and that massive, but trust me guys, these things actually really do help. And the one that helped me the most is having that, you know, wall pre-selected. I can't even tell you guys how many times that saved me. So really do a couple of these things. I promise you, you're not gonna be seeing crazy instant results, but it will definitely help you in the long run. And besides that, guys, if you guys wanna see more Fortnite's top five videos, make sure to hit that sub button, drop a like on the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.